WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi has been tracking all the latest updates for us online. He joins us now from the Storm Impact Center. Ted, what can you tell us? Danielle, uh, information flowing in fast into our newsroom here at uh, WPRI. We have on WPRI.com, up to the minute, we're adding information uh, on our Storm Beat page. You can get Flight Tracker, although there aren't many flights to track at this point from what we're hearing at TF Green. You can also get the latest information on outages, transit. As things happen, this is where we put it. We also have town-by-town -town information. Uh, one of the most recent things I heard, I was just in touch with uh, spokesman for Senator Jack Reed. They have sent a letter, Rhode Island's congressional delegate, to President Obama today asking him to quickly provide any federal assistance that Governor Lincoln Chafee asks for for Rhode Island. They're particularly concerned about beach erosion because after Superstorm Sandy, as we know, the South Coast is very vulnerable to that and they're afraid that without with the fiscal constraints and budget problems the state has had, they won't be able to respond. So they've asked the president to quickly respond to any request like that that comes. The governor saying just now a state of emergency is in effect, which sometimes is the first step before we get there. We're also learning a coastal flood advisory is now in effect. Uh, my colleague TJ has just posted that on Twitter. You can follow all the information we have coming in on WPRI.com, on Twitter. And remember that if the power goes out, you can watch WPRI's newscast live on your iPad, on your iPhone, as well as your laptop. And if you're trying to save battery power, Twitter can actually be a good way to keep in touch with information if you're stuck in the dark. We found that was very important during uh, Tropical Storm Irene and during Sandy. So uh, people can know they can get in touch and, and get the information that's coming out even if they don't have power in their homes. Back to you.